They say the best motivator of self-improvement is pain. The biggest pain for a man is not becoming the person he was born to be. You might ask me, how do you know what I was born for? It might sound cliche, because we are so used to hearing it and then ignoring it. But listen to this with a clear and sharp mind. You were born for greatness. There are so many Einsteins, so many geniuses in this world, but they will never be known because they will never reach their full potential. And that's the job of a man. Morph into the greatness you were destined for. Have you noticed that people have gotten bored with their lifestyle? With time, more people have shown interest in self-development and to get rid of the way they lead their lives. Isn't it a positive sign that they are finding ways to leave their animal behavior and adopt an ambitious, purposeful life? And most of the time, semen retention is the beginning of it. Think about this channel. For instance, it has garnered a lot of males over time. And that's the positive thing I was talking about. This means more people are serious about increasing their vibrational frequency, controlling their animal behavior, holding their sensory impulses. So how can you make it happen for yourself? You will find that out in this video. So let's get started. Male living has three domains, physical domain, mental domain, spiritual domain. If you're in control of these domain, you've achieved your better self. I'll explain them in detail. One, physical domain. This domain has a strong connection with semen retention. Things like ditching the porn, ignoring people who use to drain your energy, not having casual sex are the signs you started to give importance to your seed. And this is the vital force of life you should care about. It's good that you've taken the first step already. C. Your semen is the reason for your masculinity. It's undoubtedly the most powerful force, and releasing it for sensory pleasure is a huge loss. We all know that semen is the cause of our existence. It has brought us all in this world. Now that you've decided to preserve it, let's move on to how to transmute it. Otherwise, it'll blast itself out in other ways. Why transmuting your semen is important. We certainly don't want that because, that way, you'll find yourself in the same situation where you have no control on your semen, rather the force controls you. Make no mistake about it. It's that powerful. Therefore, you must look for ways to control this energy. Here are a few ways. Workout and visualizing. Physical activity is one way to control the energy of the seed inside you. Did you know? If you involve yourself in a physical sport or fitness routine with semen retention, you can improve your performance 10 times. And if you're able to visualize how this energy is being utilized in sports or workouts, you'll be more than satisfied. When you see the results, you are automatically push yourself to preserve it and utilize it to reach your optimum. Breathwork Breathing exercises are not new, but somehow it couldn't find its way into the modern-day lifestyle but it doesn't mean it's ineffective. Through breathing exercises, you can improve your immunity, fight mental issues such as stress, anxiety, and sleeping disorder, get better focus and mental clarity. If you want to try it, I recommend the following. 1. The Wim Hof Method. 2. Simple Stretches. The Wim Hof Method. This method can be practiced once, twice, or thrice a day regularly. Visualizing your breaths is important here. With each breath, you should feel how this energy moves through your body to different parts. Suppose you have a sore back. Here's what you should do. Take a deep breath and focus how the air is moving towards your back. Hold your breath and visualize the energy as it circulates throughout your body. Do these steps regularly and you'll see how it helps you get rid of your back pain. Also, deep breathing and holding will provide sufficient supply of oxygen to your body, making you feel fresh and energetic. What happens when I don't transmute? Without transmutation, the energy inside you will have bad consequences. You may feel more aggressive. You'll experience mood swings every now and then. You'll feel like being tempered. Again, you're going to need someone to hold you, guide you and show you the way. And this is not the right way. After some time, 
you'll fall prey to your temptations and get back to the old self. You have to realize that the energy is inside you and you need to transmute it. Transmutation aligns you with your objectives and give you the confidence to meet your goals in life. 2. Mental Domain How can you transmute energy using your brain? C. Your mind feeds on to constructive habits that stimulate neurogenesis. It's mental process that deals with the creation of new neurons. By adopting constructive habits, you nourish your brain while the old brain cells die. Here are some habits that will make you much better than others. Moreover, you'll also feel that your new self is alleviated from the former self. These are 1. Reading and learning 2. Meditation Let's go into details. Reading A human brain requires constant, constructive impulses to evolve and remains active for a long time. It's just like a plant that feeds on water. Without water, its leaves will die. One could argue that things like videos, gaming, and other visual stimuli can help a brain work faster. It's a wrong assumption. It's more like self-sabotaging. While you may think that these activities engage your brain, they're not constructive at all. That's because when you indulge into entertaining videos and gaming, your subconscious is shut off. In contrast, reading and learning open your subconscious and feed your brain with thoughts and imaginations. If you're new to reading, start slowly, and you'll soon find yourself improving. Just make a habit of reading a page or a chapter from any book before you sleep. You can even challenge your brain with a new language. Just try learning French, Spanish, or Arabic for 15 minutes every day. Over time, your brain will start to respond, and you'll feel the need for reading more books and learn new things. How do I know? When I began reading... I used to read for just a couple of minutes every day, but now I keep reading for hours. I like to learn new things now. I love the activities that demand thinking, concluding, and developing a philosophy. Now you have another way to transmute your internal energy. Through reading and learning, you'll be able to connect with the world around you in a much better way. Reading develops independent thinking. You can give your own views about anything, based on your knowledge base. Meditation. Meditation, by all means, is a classical transmutation of energy, and most people will agree. But the problem is, people don't know. How to perform meditation. How to focus. There's no one way to meditate. In fact, you cannot still your mind completely. However, you should begin by taking baby steps with guided meditations. Usually, guided meditation sessions last for about 10 minutes, so they're good for beginners. In these sessions, you learn to create peace and calmness inside you. You can only achieve it by surrendering to uncountable things that your brain might be thinking about. Here's what you should do. Don't hang on to thoughts. Instead, focus on your breath. Acknowledge any thought that pops up during the process. Then quickly shift your focus to the breath. Your thoughts will bother you just like a dog on a leash. Instead of reacting, pull the leash gently. After a few sessions, you'll see your thoughts starting to obey you. The purpose of meditation is to develop control on your thoughts and emotions. Make up your mind never to let your sensory impulses control you. Similar to reading and learning, meditation also requires some time to blend in. But when you practice it regularly, you'll make it a habit. Soon, you'll see yourself alleviating from learning to create inner peace to feeling blissful, all by yourself. And once you make it a habit, you'll realize how spiritual people remain happy by doing nothing. That's only possible due to meditation. There are a lot of videos that teach how you can transmute your sexual energy through mediation. You should see them. 3. Spiritual Domain Now, let's move on to the spiritual side of things and how you can control your sexual desires through spirituality. But before, allow me to share my opinion about spirituality. What is spirituality? Spirituality is connected to sustainability, flourishment, and happiness. It is more about increasing your connection with God and life. It also has to deal with your activities, your food choices, the people you meet, and 
The places you go. Some of the easiest habits you can take up to connect with life include lemon water with pink salt. Make a habit of drinking lemon water on empty stomach early in the morning. I'd recommend adding pink Himalayan salt as well because it contains 84 different minerals. This will alkalize your body. Walking barefoot on the grass. Walking barefoot in the grass has been a tried and tested ploy. I don't want to explain much more on it. Simply, try it out for yourself. Cold showers. Take cold showers. Bathing in cold water has countless benefits. Moreover, it is aligned with meditation and the Wim Hof method discussed earlier. Intermittent fasting. Fasting is the best technique to learn self-control. It adds discipline in your life too. So, try to eat in the 8-hour window and spend the remaining 16 hours without even a bit. You'll see your productivity skyrocketing in a matter of days. Journal. Writing your thoughts will clear your mind. You can write anything, good or bad, your thoughts, your future goals. Make a habit of recording your thoughts. It will also help you stick to your goal. Healthy choices. Pay attention to the food and drinks. Are you taking too much sugar or caffeine? Are you eating junk foods? Remember, food choices can impace your vibrations. A wrong food can lower your high vibration very quickly. Therefore, avoid soda and processed food. Instead, consume more vegetables, fruits, and organic food. They may be expensive, but if you don't want to live miserably, this is what you should opt for. Limit your screen time. Get out of the world of mindless entertainment. Social media and mobile haven't benefited anyone in terms of spiritual well-being. Instead, you should step into the real world and experience it truly. Drink water. I mean, a lot of water. You may be drinking a few glass of water, but if you want to live healthy and get high vibrations, you should drink a gallon per day, at least. Sleep well. Some people sleep for six hours and become fresh, while others may need nine hours. Sleep makes you healthier and prepares you to operate at a high level. Reconsider your busy schedule and give more time to your nine apps. All of the things discussed above may seem hard to follow. But when you do it regularly, you'll get more time to have fun with your friends and family. I always have time for social meetups during weekends. I love my way of life. This is why I shared everything with you, so you can add some of the things and alleviate your own lifestyle as well. Focusing on a better lifestyle has become more important, especially after COVID. We've got to be prepared for more, like artificial intelligence and climate change, etc. We can only fight with existential threats when we are disciplined, stronger, and more focused. By the way, don't forget to show some love. Tap that subscribe button and hit like for the algorithm. To see the next best way to level up as a man, watch these videos here.